So guys, I got another review for you. Something I just happened to find at five below the usual spots that I travel. And this is called the Trax Retro Style Wireless Headset. Now, <laughs> the first thing that popped to my head was, what is this exactly? So it's a rotary phone, old fashioned, but it is 100% Bluetooth. So it is USB charging, built-in battery. It has a built-in microphone in this right now. Just go over the specs real fast. We're looking at 36 hours of standby time. So you could just leave it on. 13 hours of actual use and about 2.5 hours to actually charge it from zero to 100%. So it's supposed to have HD calling, very, very clear. And I wanna be honest with you, we're gonna test all those features right now. I thought this was pretty cool for $10 and it's worth a look. Anyway, let's get right to this video. So like always, quick disclaimer, Everything that I use, I'm sorry, everything that I review are products that I actually use on this channel. And just for you guys that want to skip this part, the unboxing, there are timestamps in the description so you can go to the part that you want to see. Uh, also, I am recording on the Samsung A54 5G. I was recording on a OnePlus before, but it had some issues whenever I kind of transferred data from one phone to another where it skipped and people were complaining about that. So there's that. So I did go back to a Samsung device. So boy, do I miss my 50 watt fast charging. But anywho, let's get back to this retro style rotary phone. So this right here is the instructions for it, just so you know. It's gonna pull that up real fast before we take a look. So you have the base, the USB-C port. Okay, that's cool. USB-C port for the actual um, Bluetooth device, multi-button power on, power off, and an answer key. So that's pretty cool. So you can actually lift this up and answer and not even have to worry about touching your phone at all. So that is pretty cool. And this right here shows you how to put it in Bluetooth pairing mode and all that good stuff. So it says power on the speaker, it'll blink, the usual. You have the, using the headset, multi-touch. But honestly, I would just press the button hang up and, and, and call it a day. You press the answer, you press the hang up, you're good to go. <laughs> so anyhow, anything on the back? Nope, that's it, that's it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual device itself. So let me tell you something. This is super, super light. I wonder if these actually work the keys. I highly doubt it though. I can't imagine the keys actually working with this, but this is the device right here. It looks like the base itself doesn't really do anything. I think this is just for aesthetic. On the other hand, you have your micro USB, I'm sorry, micro USB, USB-C that uses to plug into the actual phone itself, which I'm about to show you guys right here. So this is the multi-button multi-function button that they were talking about right here, the answer, hang up. Right here we have the USB-C on the opposite side, so this will just plug in right here, so I'll show you guys in real time, and boom, you are good to go. And you just place it on top. So in reality, I don't believe that this right here, when you just put it on top, is just for aesthetics, because it's old fashioned. That's how rotary phones used to be back in the day, similar to this, different styles. But it looks like whenever you're powering it on or powering it off, the base itself has nothing to do with the phone's functions. Everything is gonna be from this answer button right here, which also doubles down as when you hold it, it powers the device off. So with that being said, I think this is a pretty cool looking retro type thing. You know, back in the day, a blast from the past. I might even show my grandma this and give her a good laugh. But anyway, let's go into the next section and that's gonna be how to sync this device. All right guys, so the syncing process is gonna be super easy. I'm gonna show you that right now. So I'm just gonna slide this over to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and put this phone right here so you guys can see me do it in real time so you know I'm not faking it. So what we're gonna do, first things first, is always make sure that these devices have charges in them. I'm going to assume it does because this is to have a 13 hour battery life. So I would hope it will have at least an hour left in it. So I'm gonna hold this. All right, if it do do do, here we are. That is the little blinking blue light. Now, I might have to hold that button to put it in sync mode, which I'll have to start over, but I figured I just powered it on. A lot of devices are automatically in sync mode when you power it on, but it, since it's blinking blue, I don't know if it is, but we're gonna check that together. So we're gonna go to the settings right here. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth. I'm sorry, I'm in vibration and whatnot. Just understand that depending which phone that you're using, your Bluetooth settings might be in certain locations you're not familiar with. So with that being said, I'm searching for this right now. And as you can see, it's blinking blue, solid blue. It says TY, what did I say? I don't even know what that says. This is, pull it up for you so you guys can see it. T 
T X R E T R O H N D. Um, I'm not sure that this is if that's this device, but I'm going to click it anyway. We'll find out together. All right, let's press yes. Is it working? All right, so let me just double check and make sure that it's actually working. I'm going to go ahead and go to files. I'm going to play an audio and just see if it plays through this. Because if it does, that means that it's actually working. Just play anything. Let's see if it's playing. I guess I can't. I get out of here. I guess this only works as a um, Bluetooth device for talking. Wait. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. I mean, it's solid blue. So that means that what I synced actually does work. So let me just power it off and try that again. If I want to power it off. Yep, that was it. Because what happens is in the top hand corner, the Bluetooth symbol disappeared. So I'm going to power back on so you guys know. All right. See if it pop up. There we go. So it is connected. I was right. That long, weird name was the Bluetooth device itself. So there's that. Uh, like I was saying before, I tried to play music while this was attached to it, and it only read it through the actual phone itself. So my guess is that this has no Bluetooth capabilities that allows you to play music, but it only does phone calls. So with that being said, let's go on and do a, a voice call. Well, not, not necessarily a voice call. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a, a recording through, what is it called? I should know this. I should have thought about this before I started recording. I should know this. It is a, let me just show you in real time, guys, so you know what it is I'm talking about. Does this phone not have it? <laughs> this phone is so old. <laughs> uh, basically, I'm going to do a screen recording. And what that normally does is it allows you to speak through whatever Bluetooth device that you have. And whatever you hear is, is normally what it's going to sound like during the phone call, as long as the actual service is clear. So anyway, I wasted enough time. Let's get into the next section. All right, guys, so right here, I am doing a video recording. So I'm talking into this device right now, the actual phone. Now, I know some people might sometimes use the actual voice recorder that comes built into some phones. The problem with that is occasionally you're not able, some phones allow you to screenshot and do a voice recording while others say you can't do both at the same time. I'm using a Samsung device and it kind of gave me issues in the past with that. The Pixel didn't, the Samsung does, the OnePlus doesn't, but again, Samsung software is pretty decent. So right now you just see me swiping through the phone. This has nothing to do with anything. It's just to show that, yes, it is currently recording. You can't see the settings up top, but this is how the phone calls are going to sound. Now, again, whenever you speak to people, understand that if you're coming from Boost Mobile, if you're coming from Cricket, if you're coming from AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile, Straight Talk, whatever company that you use, understand that certain carriers do not have hd calling i know as crazy as that sounds some of them truly don't have it so the quality that you're hearing is because i have hd calling but i'm not actually on a phone call i'm just recording through the actual bluetooth speaker itself so you can hear how clear it's, it's allegedly can be as long as you have a decent signal so anyway with that being said i rambled on enough you get the you basically get the idea now we're going to talk about is this actually ideal for purchasing so guys, I'm just going to be completely honest here. I like this device. Now, let me explain why. So even though I did the screen recording a moment ago, I did actually off camera call my wife up just to see how this is actually going to sound. And when, as soon as I heard it ringing in my ear, the phone itself, I knew I'm like, this sounds like pretty decent quality and HD calls. They are correct about it. It's very crisp and very clear. Uh, they had one job and all they had to do was make this clean, clear and easy for people to hear you. And I think that's a pretty good thing. Now, what I'll add to this is that uh, I don't know really who this is for, if we're being honest here. I mean, if you like the whole cordless phone thing, then this is going to work well for you. If you're one of those people where you just have a house, you just like different type of styles, different types of things. And this is how you want to answer phone calls because you might want a Bluetooth device, but not want to hold your phone. Technically, really, it's easier to hold your phone, but this is paper thin and super light. Not paper thin, but super light. I like the device. It came out very, very clear during phone calls. When I did the recording, like I showed you guys with the screen recording, it came out very, very clear. Uh, I, there's nothing else really to say about it. I mean, I didn't test the entire obvious 13-hour battery life, but I can't imagine that it would be wrong. 
Now it does say right here, and let me just specify this for you guys that's wondering about the Bluetooth, that it does, where is it? Mm, 10 meters. So 10 meters, uh, I don't know the exact amount, but I'll give you a, round the, a roundabout amount, like 32.9 something feet, which is some extra numbers with that. So what I normally say is about 32 feet. Normally you, mm, guess my uh, camera went out. One second, guys. So anyhow, like I was saying, 32 feet, two and a half hours to charge, 36 hours of standby time, 13 hour battery life, very sharp, very clean audio. I like it. It's a pretty decent device. Now, do I see myself using this for myself on a regular basis? Of course not, because I have earbuds, I have Bluetooth glasses and things like that. But for the person that likes this retro design, that thinks this is pretty cool, you got the little numbers, even though they don't really do anything at all. The phone itself, like I said before, this is the charger port. This is the uh, answer calls and hang up. And I tapped it once. And when I was done, my phone called my wife and it did hang up. I wanted to check the, the uh, multi functions of what this can do. I think it's pretty cool. And for a whopping $10, that's not bad at all. Now, would I have been happy if it was seven bucks? Yeah, absolutely. But given the style and that 13 hour battery life, I'm not really surprised that it's $10, which is reasonable. Because I would have expected it to be more, especially in the bottom section of five below near where I work. But anyway, you know, it's a cool buy. Like and subscribe like always, guys. And if you have any questions, which I can't imagine if you would, because, again, this has no other functions outside of just being able to talk on the phone. It did not play music through the Bluetooth. When I tried YouTube, it did not play through it. Its function is strictly for talking. Now, what I will say and before I uh, I'm sorry, I can't even do it now. There are options inside your Bluetooth with Androids where when you go to the settings of a particular Bluetooth that's connected, it allows you to do like uh, uh, contact sharing and other features. Maybe it's possible to play music if you turn some features on, but realistically, this is strictly for talking and that's it. But anyway, like I said before, no need to stretch this video out any further. Like and subscribe like always, and I will see y'all in the next video.